Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2010 exam and is for two marks. They are saying we have two machines A and B. Their IP addresses are also given. Okay. Now if both of the machines belong to same network, which of these four subnet masks is not possible? Okay. See, I've converted these IP addresses into by B. Let us analyze option A. If option A is the subnet mask for both of these machines, will they belong to same network? Let us check. Now option A says, first three octets are all ones and last octet is all zeros. Okay. So this is the subnet mask that is given in option A. Now in subnet mask, wherever you have ones, all of those bits are the network ID and wherever you have zeros, that part is the host ID. So all of these bits are ones. That means we have all of these bits in network ID and last octet, these eight bits, they are host ID. Okay. This means in given IP address, this part is the network ID. Okay. So you can see it is 10.105.1. For this one also it is same 10.105.1 because first three octets are exactly same. So according to option A, if we try to find out the network ID, network ID for A and B is same. So option A is acceptable. Okay, this can work. Now let us analyze option B. Option B says, First three octets along with the first bit of next octet is network ID. What is 128? 128 is 1 followed by 7 zeros. So we have a 1 here. Okay. That means the network ID is now till here. Okay. Like this. So all of these bits are network ID. Already we have seen that first three octets are exactly matching. But now this one more bit is considered in network ID. Okay. This is zero for A as well as it is zero for B also. That means still the network ID is same. You can analyze this pattern of first 25 bits. Okay. Three octets plus one bit. It is same for both A and B. That means this one will also work. Already we have seen this one is working. Now let us analyze option C. Option C is 192. 192 means double one followed by six zeros. Okay. This means starting from here, the network ID goes till this point. Okay. That means first two bits of last octet of IP address is part of network ID. So already you have seen that first three octets are exactly same 10.105.1. That side also 10.105.1. Now these two bits of the last octet are part of network ID. It is 0, 01 for A as well as it is 0, 01 for B also. Okay. So option C will also work because according to this subnet mask, the network ID of both A and B is still the same. Okay. That means answer will be option D. Okay. This will not work because here we have three bits from the fourth octet as part of network ID. For A, these three bits are 0, 1, 1. But for B, these three bits are 0, 1, 0. Okay. So this will not work because the network IDs of machine A and machine B are now different. They were saying that both of the machines belong to same network. But this will not allow both of the machines to be in same network. Okay. Now let us also find what will be the network ID of A as well as B if this one is the subnet mask. Okay. See 224 means first three bits are one. Okay. Now if you perform and of IP address comma subnet mask, you'll get the subnet ID or the network ID. So this pattern when ended with all ones will give you 10 only. Okay. This pattern when ended with all ones, you will get this pattern back. Okay. The result of and will be these bits only. And this is 105. 
again one okay and if you perform and of this one and this one you are going to get zero one one zero one one followed by all zeros okay so this is 10 dot 105 dot 1 dot 32 plus 64 is 96 so this is 96 that means network id of a if this is the subnet mask is 10 dot 105 dot 1 dot 96 let us find what will be the network id of b according to this subnet mask option d it will be 10 dot 105 dot 1 and here we have to consider only first three bits they are 0 1 0 all of these bits they will be 0 only okay so 0 1 0 followed by five zeros this will be 64 okay so their network ids are different here we have 64 in last octet here we have 96 in last octet that means if both of these machines have to be in same network this option D can never be the subnet mask, which is also the answer to this question. Thank you very much for watching this video.